So if you've ever wondered how the utility pole outside of your house services your house, I will try to explain it. So those three wires up there are three phase high voltage wires. They could be on the order of 4,900 volts, 13,000 volts, and above. Um, and they are all at the top of the pole with insulators that insulate them from ground. And they go throughout your neighborhood. Now, for your house, they pull right there. You see that bolt clip to one phase, and the first thing you notice is it goes through this doohickey here and those ribbed looking devices on the right are ceramic insulators that um, insulate the high voltage line from the pole so that you can see that the insulator is attached to the um, horizontal stanchion there and then that device there to the left with the little circle on it is a fused disconnect so if for any reason um, more current goes to this transformer than is expected that fuse disconnect will activate and protect the transformer so there could be a short in the transformer and there could probably be a short in the lines going to your house so whenever that fuse disconnects uh, whenever that fuse disconnect senses a high current it will protect um, not only the transformer but any fault down line so that disconnect uh, upstream of that goes to the high voltage line and that um, cable coming off the bottom of it goes to the transformer so you got your high voltage three phase uh, wires they pull one phase off to go to the transformer you can see on the bottom of that fuse disconnect that wire going to the top of the transformer and then you can see at the top of the transformer there's another device that is um, let me get a better picture of it here That is a lightning arrestor. So if one of those phases gets struck by lightning or there's some high voltage event, the uh, lightning arrestor will uh, sense the over voltage and automatically create a short to ground through the transformer to the ground down the pole. That wire down the pole is um, driven into ground Every pole will have a ground. So, they only pull off one phase for your house. And within this transformer, cars are going by, I'm sorry. So that fuse disconnect will prevent overcurrents and if, um, there, if that fuse blows or disconnects, there's a guy that'll come out here with a pole with a, a schmilzlinger on the end of it, and he will either replace the fuse or reset the fuse disconnect. Um, if there's a lightning strike, they don't have to do anything because that uh, arrestor will short the high voltage right to ground and protect your system. So. They pull one phase off on every house. So in this case, they pull that phase off. But in order to balance the system, there's a bunch of engineers involved and they will balance the loads throughout the neighborhood or whatever so that 
not every house is fed by the same phase. So in this case, in this, in, for this house, they pull off that phase, fuse disconnect to the top of this transformer. And I wished I had a, a little better lighting. So, high voltage line comes into the transformer and that transformer is uh, mechanically equivalent to like a gear on a bicycle. So up here is like a high RPM gear and high, high RPM low torque and then they step it down to um, 120. So 120 is low RPM high torque so that you can have the current to feed the loads in your house. But what they do is connect it to, now what I'm looking at here is the, um, 120 is on the top, negative 120 is on the bottom, and the center is a ground. Let me see if I can get a better picture of this. So there's your transformer, and there's the left, right, and center, and take my word for it, the center is the ground. So the, the high voltage comes in, and the transformer is designed such that the transformer is designed such that it does 120 plus in one direction and 120 negative in the other direction center tapped around ground such that that middle uh, connection is ground which is also connected to the pole and is also connected to the ground that comes to your house so um you can see the lower wires are for houses locally distributed in the area so this might be the only transformer for two or three or four or five houses see there's not a transformer there so it's feeding more than one house so what comes into your house is 120 plus 120 negative with a ground and that's what feeds to your breaker box so if there is a short for any reason between the pole and your house, which has breakers, then that fuse disconnect, whether it's to the transformer or whatnot, will blow. And if there's a lightning strike on the phase that happens to be connected to your house, the um, over voltage uh, for better terms, MOV, metal oxide of arister, will pop and short everything directly to ground. So basically you're getting 120 to zero and zero to negative 120, which allows 240 into your house. Everything is single phase in your house. You can't run a three phase motor in your house because otherwise you would have to connect to the three phase lines up there. So all of your homes are um, single phase, maybe two phase depending on how everything's done inside the house so the point is if the world comes apart and we lose power at the utilities i'm not even going to get into i'm not even going to get into what's upstream from here because there's transfer stations there's um, um distribution stations there's the main generators whether it be a reactor or a turbine generator but something is going to make three phase it's going to be distributed via these transmission lines through a series of uh transfer stations or distrib distribution networks but the bottom line is that your house if you lose power it's a result of either the high voltage lines being chopped down because of a car accident or um, a, a, a interruption at one of the distribution stations. Um, so 
if in an emergency you ever had to get power to your house short of coming up with a generator that makes 4900 volts or 6900 volts or 13,000 volts you'd have to tie directly downstream of this transformer because um, there's no generators that I know of that you can wheel into your house that will make that high of a voltage so you'd have to bypass the transformer and basically come up with the generator that made uh, 120 plus or minus so it'd be it'd be very difficult so you'd have to cut that line right there where it goes into the bottom of the transformer there you'd have to cut that line and find a way to just get power into your house or you can just tie a generator into your uh, circuit breaker so I didn't do a very good job of explaining this because the lighting is shitty but that's kind of an explanation of what's going on outside of your house and you know getting power to your house is not magic um, you know whenever you turn on the microwave or the oven and you complain that you don't have power to your house you know it's not straightforward there's a lot of engineers doing a lot of work they're load balancing they're 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 um, coordinating uh, circuit breakers they're designing transformers um, but basically this is just centered on your own house utility and uh, how power comes into your house and it's not a simple thing but a lot of engineering goes into this and um, you know I'm not even gonna get into cable and uh, telephones that that's on a lower end because they're a low voltage um, but these are basically essentially bundled cables for uh, your communications network and that's why they're lower because they're low voltage um, but that's the real meat of what's going on this is why you get power three phase protection devices such as fuse disconnects and over voltage protection devices transformers that step down the high voltage to a lower voltage and um, these are the little cables that come into your house that feed your circuit breaker and allow you to have fancy things like power to your TVs and so on and so forth. So if the shit should ever hit the fan, you'd have to figure out how to break into this system so that you have power, which essentially for the average person is going to be futile. Thanks for checking this out.